Alright, what's up, fuckers and fuckettes? <clears throat> right, any of you still struggling with the event? This is a little how to on how I did it in about a day. If I knew this at the start, it would have been a damn sight easier. So, all you're gonna do is set your plats up like this one, one war horse in each plat. Alright? So you need four to start with. Alright, so if you're using jackals or vanguards or fucking whatever you're using, just get four war horses as soon as you possibly can. There's a general one. Right. Don't bother with the conqueror bases. I've tried both. Um it's much more efficient just to smash these out and you'll see why afterwards. So basically what you want to be doing Alright, is, uh, alright, so, first off, you get four war horses, alright, uh, second, once you've got all of them, you get all three bits of tech, go for gold first, then silver, then bronze, alright, then you get another four war horses, obviously the tech are all buy once, forget about it, Right, so you get another four war horses so that you have a total of eight. After that, you focus on the tokens. Alright, you get them as high level as you possibly can. Once you've got all 30 tokens that you can get, so 3 million XP to get all 30 tokens for the war horses. Um, after you've done that, you can get more war horses or you can get Kali, you can get jackals whatever else you need after that but that's where you want to focus on eight war horses all the tokens all right obviously four tech four tokens hopefully that makes sense so what it should look like is something like this all right nice and simple so the amounts you need obviously mine are max level now and they've got all the tech so this will look a damn sight easier than it will for you if you're just starting out but this is exactly how I started out the first base of the three is much harder you have a boomer down there you have another boomer there right you've got two technical X's which are on aggressive there and there okay and in between you've got crucigers there there uh, and a there and a I think there's another one somewhere, I can't remember. Alright, so one war horse from each side. If you go in with level one war horses with no tech, then this can be if I can turn Ruby on. This can be a bit more painful to start with. Right. So what you want to do is avoid them getting too low. Alright, so like this one. Right. We'll just pull him back so that he's not going in anymore. Right. Stop him before they get to half half health so that you can still free repair him on the map. Alright. Basically the ones that you send in from that direction and that direction, those are the two that are more likely to meet the boomers. And it's the boomers that do the damage with the technical X's as well. So target them first, then the Crucigers. All right, all the shit in the bunkers and you know the devouts and shit like that. They don't do nearly as much damage. All right. So that's base one. Where's base two? All right, base two you can do from the get go with one warhorse. It's the easiest base of the three. Let's just double check that one. Yeah. So, 10 seconds repair on that, and then we can free repair it. There we go. Alright, 5 minutes 30 for the repair glitch. Alright, so, one war horse doesn't matter where you're going from because everything's set to aggressive so it's all nice and easy. Alright, 
this one literally you can send it in and just leave the battle everything dangerous is coming at you from the start right and to start with you might want to use two in here just to you know make it easier or more likely you know for free repair but you don't need any more than two and it won't be long obviously if you got the gold and silver tech you know because obviously i got those pretty quick just using jackals um then yeah gold and silver tech you only need one war horse at level one all right let's not waste time in there so the third one you only need two okay so the only really sort of painful bit in here is the watchtowers the bunker there obviously all three of those close together they do kind of hurt a bit but also be careful of the hyperions so what you can do obviously it doesn't matter what direction you come in from but if you're coming in from this side you can just target that turret there and take out both of those at the same time Otherwise, just make sure the Hyperions die first. The rest is just Ruby. Alright. So, exactly as I'm doing it now, you want to do the same, just with your level 1 war horses. Alright. Literally could not be much easier. Now, if you're struggling, like, I don't know, people have got so many different variations I've had one of my lower levels who didn't even have any jackals at the start of this event so he was doing it with a few vanguards and um, I don't know some fucking vanquishers or some shit I don't know what he had so even if you haven't got jackals you can still start off right so that's all three bases there so you can do it, you know, and I did do some of the Conqueror sets, I found that even when they're maxed, it was mostly inconsistent, because I'm not one of those to spam mercs, missiles, and all the rest of it. That's not my idea of a fun time. Um, that should be, yep, my last Warhorse. Alright, so... There we go. All 24 built. Right. But, yeah, it's literally that easy. As soon as you get the first four war horses, that's basically your event done. All you got to do then is just sit there and, you know, repair on the map. Just make sure you stop the war horses before they get to half health. I think they're just shy of 14 minutes. Uh, no, 13 or is it 12? I can't fucking remember. It's a little bit more than Jackals. Their total repair time. And Jackals are 12 minutes. Um, so, yeah, just stop them before they get to half health. Play around with it. Find out, you know, how you can make it work. Your way, well, my way might not work for you. But so far, it has with just about everybody else. Alright. So, hopefully this helps. That's my event finished, and yeah, now you've seen how easy it is, so uh, any questions, comment below, and I'll make sure I get them answered, alright? Take care for now guys, see you on the next one.